Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Eavesdropper Sheila makes a mess, discovers Taylor's grim condition. The bold and the beautiful B and B. Spoilers reveal that Sheila Sharp, Kimberlyn Brown, has a habit of inserting herself in situations where she isn't welcome. Sheila is the kind of character who can pop up and cause trouble without warning, so she could join the Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Buttig drama soon. At the moment, Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, is the only one who knows what Taylor is truly facing. Although Lai is keeping Taylor's heart failure and grim outlook under wraps, this secret is destined to leak. At some point, it's easy to imagine Lai and Taylor having another argument about what's best. Lee doesn't want to push too hard, but she's really hoping that Taylor will change her mind about coming clean and accepting her family's support. However, Taylor can't stand the thought of burdening her loved ones with such heavy knowledge, at least not until she's closer to the end. There'll come a time when Taylor will have no choice but to confess, but she wants to keep things normal for as long as possible. Maybe Lai could take Taylor out to lunch at Il Giardino and try to talk her into a full confession anyway. Lay might even insist this is putting her in an awkward position, since she's hiding something that affects John Finn Finnegan's Tanner Novlin, wife deeply. Taylor and Lay might assume Sheila has the day off, but she could actually end up eavesdropping around the corner. After all, Sheila has done it before, like when she overheard the news about Hope Logan's Annika Noel feelings for Finn. Now B and B might raise the stakes and let Sheila eavesdrop on an even bigger secret. What if Sheila discovers Taylor's heart condition and learns that she's going to lose her life because of it? Sheila might decide that Lai is being a bad mom for hiding something so massive from Finn. Perhaps Sheila could run straight to Finn's office and tell him what Lai won't, partly to prove she's the better mother in her own mind. Of course, it's also possible Sheila will decide she can score points with Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messines Wood, by telling her the truth. Maybe Sheila could try to prove she cares about Steffi by coming clean, even if she's mostly just trying to impress Finn. Sheila could argue that Steffi deserves to know what's going on as Taylor's loving daughter. Whatever the case, our predictions hint that Sheila could make a mess of things eventually so stick with us for updates on how she might react to Taylor's shocker. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Sheila might be delusional enough to think she can fill that motherly void for Steffi once Taylor's gone. Sheila Carter had always been a master of manipulation, lurking in the shadows, ready to strike when her targets were most vulnerable. Her return to the bold and the beautiful had been nothing short of a storm leaving destruction in her wake. But this time, her eavesdropping might prove more disastrous than even she anticipated. The Forrester mansion stood tall, elegant, and brimming with secrets. As the evening wore on, it was quiet, save for the whispers of conversation filtering through the thick walls. Sheila had learned early on that the key to survival wasn't in being seen, but in blending into the background. Tonight, she would do just that. The conversation she had been waiting for was about to happen, and her sharp instincts told her that something monumental was brewing. The moment she stepped into the corridor leading to the Forrester living room, she felt it. The tension was palpable. Inside the room, Ridge Forrester's voice was low and controlled, but the concern was undeniable. His words carried the weight of someone on the brink of collapse, though his strong demeanor fought to hold it together. She's not getting better, Brooke. We need to make some decisions, Ridge said, his voice cracking just a little. Sheila's breath caught. This was about Taylor Hayes, the woman who had been her nemesis for years, and lately, her curiosity had been piqued by the rumors swirling around about Taylor's recent health scare. She'd heard snippets, but nothing concrete. Now, standing outside the door, the entire picture was coming into view. Brooke Logan's soft voice answered, laced with concern. 
I know Ridge, it's been weeks and she's only deteriorated, but she's Taylor. She's so strong. There's still hope, right? Sheila's pulse quickened. This wasn't just any health scare. Something more grim was happening to Taylor. She pressed herself closer to the door, straining to hear every word. We don't have time to wait for a miracle, Ridge said, frustration edging into his tone. The doctors have tried everything, but her mental state, it's slipping, Brooke. If we don't intervene soon, I'm afraid she won't come back to us. Sheila's brow furrowed. Taylor, the rock of the Forrester family, was mentally unraveling. This was news she hadn't expected. A sleigh smile crept onto her face. If Taylor was losing her grip on reality, Sheila's path to inserting herself into the Forrester's lives might just have become a lot easier. Inside, Ridge's voice softened as Brooke approached him. We have to protect her. But what if, what if she can't come back from this? Sheila's heart raced. Brooke's words were like gold. Taylor's fragile mental state, if it became public knowledge, would cause an explosion within the Forrester family. But it wasn't enough. Sheila needed more details. What exactly was happening to Taylor? As if on cue, Brooke sighed heavily. The doctors are talking about a neurological condition, something that's affecting her mind. They're still running tests, but Ridge, she's not herself, and she knows it. A cold chill ran down Sheila's spine. This was far worse than she'd imagined. Taylor wasn't just emotionally fragile, her very mind was at risk of falling apart. Suddenly, the gravity of what she was overhearing sunk in. Sheila had always reveled in creating chaos, but this, this was a ticking time bomb. And it wasn't just about Taylor's mental state. It was about the lives of everyone connected to her, especially Ridge. Sheila's mind spun with possibilities. What could she do with this information? How could she turn it to her advantage? If Taylor was unstable, Sheila could potentially push her over the edge. She could leverage this knowledge, sowing further discord between Ridge and Brooke, or even between Ridge and Steffi. And the best part? She didn't even have to get her hands dirty. But something shifted in her as she continued to listen. Sheila had always seen Taylor as a worthy opponent, someone who stood up to her in ways few had. Hearing about her unraveling now, it almost didn't feel like a victory. Almost. In the living room, Ridge's voice trembled. I don't know what to do, Brooke. She's Taylor, the mother of my children. I don't want to lose her, but I feel like I already am. Brooke moved closer to him, offering a comforting embrace. We'll figure this out, Ridge. Whatever it takes, we'll help her. She's not alone in this. Sheila stifled a bitter laugh. Brooke, always the eternal optimist. As much as Sheila hated to admit it, she admired that about Brooke, her relentless hope. But Sheila knew better. Some battles weren't won by hope or love. Some were won by sheer force of will. And if Taylor's mind was slipping, no amount of affection could stop what was coming. Sheila leaned back from the door, her pulse finally starting to slow as she processed everything. This information was more than enough to create a firestorm within the Forrester family, but she needed to be smart about it. She couldn't simply drop the bomb and watch the explosion. No, she needed to plant the seeds of doubt, to let Taylor's condition speak for itself while Sheila played puppet master from the shadows. But there was one more thing gnawing at her, a flicker of doubt. If Taylor's condition was as dire as it seemed, how far would Ridge go to save her? Would he abandon Brooke? Would he turn to Steffi for guidance? Or would he spiral into his own despair, unable to cope with the loss of the woman he'd loved for so many years? Sheila's grin faded slightly as she slipped out of the Forester mansion unseen as always. The wheels were turning, but for the first time in a long time, Sheila Carter wasn't entirely sure if she was in control of what would come next. Taylor Hayes was a powerful woman, even in her weakest moments. And though Sheila had learned a lot that night, one thing was clear, Taylor's battle wasn't over, and Sheila, for all her scheming, might not be ready for what that would mean. But then again, when had Sheila ever backed down from a challenge?